I went through this entire request yesterday and Facebook decided not to post it, which is more than mildly annoying. But anyway, here's my dilemma. I have one of those cheesy bath shower combo thingies in my master bath. I didn't put it there, it came with the house. And the time has come to recaulk the seams or the joints on that thing. And uh, I know I tell you folks all the time, or I beg you, don't DIY it. However, we've had a lot of discussions about the need for self-sufficiency, where there are a lot of things that you can be doing for your boats that you don't need me for. Inspections, cleanings, application of your UV treatment, checking those valves, making certain they're free of debris. And this is one of those situations on my end. You know, I'm guilty of looking at a lot of projects through the lens of inflatable boat repair procedures. And so in my mind, there are two things going on. One is I'd be laughed out of the arena if I tried to hire a professional to simply recock three joints in the shower. And uh, two, that I'm thinking I need to remove all the old stuff, clean, prep, and then redo with a nice bead. Now, the problem, even if that is the procedure, the problem is that I am super sloppy with stuff like that. I am probably the world's worst spackler. I stand back and watch the professionals in complete amazement. And one would think this is a simple chore, right? It's kind of like, uh, oh, you'll jump out of an airplane, but you're afraid of a spider. So that's what I'm looking at here. So I would appreciate any tips and tricks. I mean, do I need to remove the old stuff? If so, with what implement shall I do it? Does it matter? Uh, what chemical might I need to clean it and prep it to get ready for the new bead? Also, I've been told that using uh, Windex, you know, we need a wet finger for caulking. I, I've done the caulking before, just not removing the old. That Windex on the fingers is helpful. I'd like you to verify that. And, uh, you know, you may ask, why didn't you just YouTube it? Well, you guys know how I feel about the misinformation on YouTube. You know, we'll see a guy who says, I fabricated my own transom. I don't need no stinking boat repair technician. And yet, you know, the time comes to line up all the fabric and, hmm, the hole in the fabric for the baler didn't quite line up. So I drilled another and then I clamped it down and no, 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 <laughs> that's not the way this works. So I'm reaching out to you, my trusted people, to just ask for some assistance here. I was supposed to have done this yesterday, but after my shift and painting baseboards and uh, doing chores like that, the pool was calling my name. <laughs> so... Um, it is on my list today to get this done. So if you want to chime in and give me any help and, and feel free to shame me as well, because I know this is going to go poorly. However, it's kind of not the same thing as you putting 5,200 or flex seal on a $6,300 dinghy. You know, if I screw this up, it was a shitty shower to begin with. So uh, help me out if you can, if you're willing. And thanks so much.